Okay, I get really excited about external hard drives. Yeah, that, that, that sounded a lot less creepy in my head. But I do, because let's face it, years ago, having an external hard drive was a nice thing to have if you were a heavy computer user and you had sensitive documents or things that were important that you wanted to make sure were backed up safely. But fast forward to today, everyone has some sort of device, whether it's a computer, a tablet, a smartphone, that stores their information digitally. So we always need ways to back up and preserve those digital documents or digital memories through video and pictures in a safe way, and external hard drives are the best way to do that safely. You factor that in with the fact that I'm also very passionate about flying drones. I love flying drones. I don't know why. I just like the feeling of being in the air, having a camera in the air that can look down from the sky. I just think it's one of the coolest things in the world. So you take my passion for hard drives and my passion for drones, and then you start thinking, wouldn't it be great if there's a company that made an external hard drive for people that love to fly their drones? And guess what? A company did. That company is Seagate, and the product, the DJI Fly Drive. Now, as you can probably tell from the name, this is something that Seagate did in conjunction with DJI, the number one name in drones all over the world. You might have other drones that you love, I do too, but let's face it, when it comes to the world of drones, DJI is the one name that you want on your box if you're making a hard drive specifically for drone pilots. Um, they sent this out to me because, honestly, I needed a, har a larger hard drive right now for my MacBook Pro. It had to be USB-C compatible. And being a drone pilot, and I saw this, I was like, oh my God, this is the perfect thing. So the folks at Seagate were kind enough to send it over. I should say this at the beginning. This is not a sponsored video. We're not being paid to talk about this fly drive. Uh, but the folks at Seagate were kind enough to send this to us. So thank you very much for doing that, Seagate. Now, Seagate is a name that I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with when it comes to hard drives, both external and internal. I, I used to build a lot of PCs, and back when I built PCs, I would always use a Seagate Barracuda drive. They were, they were very reliable, worked great, powerful, fast. So Seagate has been a name that I've been familiar with for quite a long time. In fact, they even make the LeC drives that I'm using now, because Seagate now owns LeC, and uh, yeah, so all in all, it's a company that I'm very familiar with. I've been using their products for a long time, but I'm very excited to see what benefits a DJI fly drive would bring to the party that's specific to being a drone pilot. So what do you say we unbox this sucker and we talk a little bit about what this drive is and who it's actually made for? Okay, old man glasses on, lame boxing knife in hand. Now, the first thing you notice, as I said earlier, this is a two terabyte drive, USB-C two ter terabyte drive. Now, I couldn't see, now, US, a lot of you might not know this, USB-C isn't necessarily the speed. USB-C is the shape of the connector. The speed can either be Thunderbolt, USB 3.0, 2.0. That's basically the speed. And the USB-C is just the shape of the connector. So I can't find where it actually says what speed this is, but I actually have tried one of these before. The transfer rates are very fast. So I'm going to assume it is a Thunderbolt 3 drive, but I'll follow up with some information on that later. Uh, it says on the box here, store 60 hours of drone footage. Now that number, the nice thing about that number is it's actually based on 4K video at 30 frames per second. So to get 60 hours of that kind of video from, a, from an external drive, that's really good. Especially if you shoot anything in 4K, you know that is a lot of storage. So first thing you'll see in here is of course the DJI fly drive manual, although a manual for an external hard drive, there's not really much you can do or do wrong. That being said, you should probably still look at it just in case. And inside we have a double plastic container that contains the actual drive itself in the front and in the back, a USB-C, I think it's a USB-C to USB-C, yes it is, USB-C to USB-C cable. Now the thing I like about this is You'll see it comes with a rubberized protector on the outside that you can actually remove. The drive is actually nice and compact. You see it's got the great DJI logo on there and it's got some engravings on the back. You can see it sort of show it off there a little bit. And it has this rubberized protector, which is good because if you were going to be traveling with your drone, getting footage and wanting to transfer that footage here onto this drive, you want it to be a little bit ruggedized. And I think this, this rubber uh, sort of gasket all around that does give it that ruggedized feel and if I dropped it I would not worry about it. it looks it looks pretty powerful okay so let me see on the side here we have okay now this is interesting as I said before we do have the USB-C to USB-C cable so you are going to need a USB-C port on your computer or some sort of an adapter that will allow you to use this 
why am I having so much trouble with this? Not a very long cable, but let's face it, if it's going next to your computer, you don't have to have a very long USB-C cable. I'm looking on the side here. We have different, okay, there's the USB-C port right here on the front. And you can see this is what makes it a drone drive. You see that little port right on the side there? I'm hoping you can see that. That is a micro SD slot. That's kind of what makes this uh, an external hard drive for drone pilots because it does have that micro SD card slot there that allows you to take the micro SD card from your drone, pop it right in here, and download all of your, uh, all of your footage to your computer. But here, this is the interesting part. You actually need to be connected to your computer by USB to the USB on your computer to get the footage off. This is not a standalone drive, meaning it's not self-powered. You can't just carry this with you and pop in the, you know, the micro SD card from your drone and download all the footage. You actually have to be connected to a computer. So now a lot, what a lot of you are probably asking right now is, well, isn't this just a glorified card reader? Well, yes and no, because you would need a micro SD card reader on your computer to actually take the card out of your drone and read it on your computer. So you would need that anyway. And you kind of want to do have extra storage to manage all the footage that you're going to get from your drone and not have all that footage on your computer because it takes up a lot of room. So this is actually doing the work of two devices. It's giving you storage and acting as a micro SD card reader all in one. Um, the thing that I would really like to see is to have this be a self-powered, as I said earlier, a self-powered drive, meaning you don't actually have to be connected to your computer to get the footage off. That, that would be a really valuable thing because now you still have to travel with your computer to use this device to get the footage off of your drone. I'd love for Seagate to put out another version of this uh, that allows you to just plug the micro SD card in, get the footage off, no need to travel with your computer. You just travel with this in your pocket and you can offload all that information. So if you're listening Seagate, that would be a great next thing to do with this drive. Now, though I have used this drive, I haven't done specific speed tests to find out exactly if it is Thunderbolt 3, Thunderbolt 2, USB 3.0 in terms of the speed. If you want me to actually do a speed test to give you guys more information, let us know in a comment below. I'll be happy to follow this up with all the specifics. I know some of you don't really care about the actual numbers, but some of you do. So if you want to know that information, let me know and I'll give, I'll post some speed tests as well. But I can tell you data transfer from the micro SD card was very fast, as was transferring data to my computer off of this drive. And I got to tell you, even if you don't have a drone, even if you're not a drone pilot and you don't ever use this micro SD card, which I still think is a pretty cool thing to have on an external hard drive. Uh, this still is a nice portable drive that can be taken with you um, if you use your laptop as your, normal, as your normal computer, if you have a lot of digital media that needs to be offloaded from the computer to an external source, this is a great thing. And for me, like I said, on my MacBook Pro, right now I'm using a one terabyte USB-C drive. I'm running out of space, so for me, a two terabyte drive, whether I use it for my drone or not, is actually kind of a cool thing, and this is one that I will use as my main hard drive, and I can also travel around with it when I'm taking my drone places. So, this is the DJI Fly Drive. It's from Seagate, again, in conjunction with the folks at DJI. If you're a drone pilot and don't want to have to schlep around an external card reader for your micro SD card, now you don't have to. You have a hard drive with a built-in uh, with a built-in reader, and uh, at high speed, USB-C, for all those people that are now living the dongle life, one less dongle to carry around. And if you like the video, please let us know with a, with a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of these or learn more about the fly drive, let us know that in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe because not only does it help us bring you all these videos, it also makes you eligible for all of our giveaways. And believe me, we do a ton of great giveaways. So we hope you enjoyed this and we will see you on the next one.